let's look at the text tool. If you tap anywhere on your screen in a note, you're gonna bring up the text option bar and your keyboard, so you can type anything you need to. You can then select different pieces of text to change the font type, change the font size, or change the font color. You can also bold, italicize, or underline, depending on if that font supports it. The A, B, C, and the hearts are where you can set up favorite fonts so you can quickly and easily change your uh, font options depending on uh, what you have selected. So if I want to change this back to green, bold. Now if I want it to go back to my favorite, if I tap on the A, it will change it back. If I push and hold on the A, I can then update that favorite setting. You can have up to three favorites on your text. On the far right hand side, you can tap on the first button, will change line spacing. So it will space out your text um, if you have multiple lines of text. So if I select all of that, tap line spacing, I can change it from the default of one to one and a half lines or to two for double spacing. The last option on the right are your different types of lists. You can do a bulleted list, a numbered list, or a checklist that does have interactive checks, check boxes. You can also add check boxes. If you um, look on the far left hand side, there's a checkbox icon. That's how you can add one in individually. And then to the left of that, it would allow you to indent and um, outdent your different options. By default, when you type on the screen, it will um, go along like a word processing software does. So it is line by line. You can also draw text boxes. So if you tap on the T tool again, the text tool, you're gonna see draw. If you have an Apple Pencil connected to your iPad, you'll also see the option for scribble. And then the default is off. So off is like a regular um, word processing software where you're gonna type from left to right. And once you fill up a line, it would automatically go down to the next line. Um, what draw does, if you tap on draw, is you can draw in a text box anywhere on the screen and then you can also format that text box. So if you tap on the text box, you can change it to a rounded corner. You can change to a different type of paper or colored paper. And if I tap off, you can then see those rounded corners. If I tap square corners, you would then see the square corners. It makes it kind of like a sticky note. You can also tap style um, to change the font in the text box. Um, you can disable text wrap, you can cut the box, copy, delete, or again, change the paper. And then around the box itself, you have resize handles that you can drag to resize the text box. If you need to move it around, you can just tap and hold on it to move. And then you can also rotate it with that button on the far right-hand side. So you could have multiple sticky notes throughout the document. If you have an Apple Pencil attached, if you tap on that text tool again, if you choose the scribble option, what that will do is as you are writing, it will turn that handwriting into text that will go inside the text box. So just another way, um, again, scribble, you're only gonna see that option if you have an Apple Pencil connected to your device. So that is your text tool.